Hi golfers, Nick here from Golf Tech Singapore. In today's video, we're going to continue our theme, taking a look at the Golf Tech Swing True Motion Study. In previous weeks, we've taken a look at the backswing position of the shoulder tilt and hip sway. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at the shoulder tilt at impact. So for those of you that are new to the channel and new to Golf Tech, Golf Tech specializes in 3D motion. As you can see, I've got a sensor there on my shoulder. I've also got one on my hip. These are going to be measuring my body at certain positions in the golf swing. So Golf Tech's been around for about 25 years, and in that time, they've measured thousands of different golfers of all different abilities and the best players in the world. And a few years ago, they put together a study, and they looked at some key positions in the golf swing and measured what the best players do and what the highest handicappers do. They found a strong correlation in six key areas. And over recent weeks, I've sort of discussed some of these key positions. And today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the shoulder tilt at impact. So we've recently discussed the shoulder tilt in the backswing, which was the left shoulder moving downwards in the backswing, a roughly 36 degree angle for the best players. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the shoulder tilt at impact, why it's important and how it can help you play better golf. We're also gonna be sharing a drill to help you practice your shoulder tilt in the golf swing at impact and into the follow through. If you take a look at this chart here, you can see that the highest handicappers, they only tilt their shoulders at 27. But as you go up the chart there, you can see that the better the golfer, the more they tilt their shoulders at impact. So 39 degrees is the average tall position for the shoulders at impact. So we're gonna talk about that today and then show a drill to help you practice your shoulder tilt. So I've briefly talked about the shoulder tilt there and, and you know that the best golfers have more tilt. So why is that important? Well, first of all, it can help the golfer keep their arm straight as they hit forward, but still maintain some degree of shaft lean. In my experience, golfers that struggle with the shoulder tilt, they tend to hit the ball low and they struggle to keep the handle forward. So the best players, they keep the handle forward by pushing their hips forward, increasing their shoulder tilt, and this helps them not only strike the ground after the ball by keeping the handle forward, but also launch the golf ball high enough to hit the ball far enough. Too many golfers that struggle with the shoulder tilt, they tend to lose the angle in their wrists, and they tend to hit the ball low. Also, when you take a look from the side view, golfers that lose their shoulder tilt, they tend to swing more across the golf ball. So by increasing my shoulder tilt, that's gonna help me swing the club from the inside, and also help me strike the ball better and keep my angle to the ground. As I go through into the exit position here, we're gonna take a look at my shoulders when the right arm is parallel to the ground. So the best players will have their shoulders tilted roughly 49 degrees when the right arm is parallel. That's gonna help me swing around the body in an arc and keep my angle to the ground. So the highest handicappers, they tend to level out their shoulder tilt too much by moving the head towards the ball. That causes steep out to in contact. So if you struggle with the shoulder tilt, I'm gonna share a great drill to help you improve your impact position and launch the ball higher. So in my experience, this helps a lot with every club in the bag, especially the woods, fairway woods, hybrids and driver. If you can increase that shoulder tilt as you hit through, like I said, it keeps the club path working in and it helps launch the ball nice and high to draw the ball. We're gonna work on a little drill today just to help us increase that shoulder tilt. So as you set up, I want you to just bump your hips a little bit more forward than they would be normally. So normally they'll be pretty stacked, but I just want you to just push that hip a little bit further forward for this drill, because in this drill, we're just gonna be doing a little swing. And as we go through, we're trying to push that hip forward and increase the side tilt as we hit the ball. So as we set up, bump the hip a little bit more than normal, tiny little swing to start. We're literally just chipping the ball out. So you can see from the side view, my shoulders are tilted. You can see from the face on view there, tilted my shoulders and kept the handle forward. It's really important to strike the ball well, keep the arms straight, swing on into out. The shoulder tilt is definitely one of the biggest things that's overlooked in the golf swing. You don't hear many instructors talking about the shoulder tilt at impact especially. So again, just chipping the ball out there. So for this drill, I suggest using an A time. And the most important thing what you're looking for at impact is that head to be stable and the hips pushing forward as you go through and the arms straight and the handle forward. Like I said, too many golfers, they struggle to launch the ball with the handle forward so they don't have that shoulder tilt. So you see me just chip a couple of balls out there. What I'm gonna do now is just speed this up a little bit. So similar type of swing, maintaining my tilts. You can see almost dead straight, just a little push draw. So a couple of key checkpoints. Bump the hip, handle forward, arms straight. Tilt the shoulders, that felt really good. That was a little bit harder. That went higher and straighter. 
So that is a really good drill to work on your shoulder tilt. I think the shoulder tilt is definitely overlooked. I drew every ball there. Very simple, little half swings, gradually building up the speed. I'll be interested to hear you golfers out there. Have you worked on the shoulder tilt at impact before? Comment yes, comment no. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts. So maintain that shoulder tilt. It's gonna help you hit the ball further, straighter, and better. If you wanna find out a little bit more about golf tech, check out this playlist, and I'll see you again next week for another video. Thank you.